Automatic edge processing for the preparation of welding seams with BDS AutoCAD 500. Documentation, instruction and application. In the following we will explain the application of our bevel edge milling machine AutoCAD 500. First, assure yourself that the feed ring for the milling tool has been turned back completely as in the factory setting. Place the machine against the stop right most onto the material to be machined and use the crank handle to raise the guide rollers until the rollers get into contact with the material. Then turn the crank handle by another turn and lock the spindle with the hexagon nut. The guide rollers are optimally pre-stressed now. Now connect the machine to the mains and check the direction of rotation of the motor. If necessary, the face inverter in the plug must be turned. Now both guideway elements must be mounted. We start with the right hand side. The black toggle switch on the feed motor is set to 1 and the selector for feed direction is shifted to the right. The feed rate is set by means of the grey rotary knob. Move the entire unit to the right edge of the workpiece. And attach the guideway element. After mounting, the machine must be moved up to the end stop. That procedure must be repeated for the left guideway element. The guide rollers are provided with a reversing lever for forward and backward motion. At the end stop, this reversing lever is automatically changed to the opposite direction of movement. The machine should be set up with the milling motor running in order to avoid damage to the reversible disc in case the miller should come into contact with the material. Both guideway elements must form a plane with the material to be machined. Readjustment in the case of different height can be made by means of the setting screws. Now move the machine back into the cutting area and adjust the desired milling angel. The chip protection is pushed up and the chip container is inserted. With the motor running, we now approach the edge of the material by slowly and carefully rotating the feed ring into a CCW direction by means of the three handles. As soon as a slight milling noise, it's heard, the feed ring is locked again by means of the two clamping levers. Then move the machine to the left out of the cutting area up to the end stop. Then move the machine to the left out of the cutting area up to the end stop. Here you see how the reversing lever changes into the position for a milling procedure from the left to the right. Both clamping levers must be clamped after the infeed motion. Further stages depend on camphor width and on the quality of the material. Now is the time to think about the personal protective equipment. 
ready to go. Switch the milling motor on, switch the feed motor on and use the grey rotary knob to set the feed rate so that the machine is slowly fed into the material. The speed can be adjusted from time to time. After the machine has come into contact with the right end stop, set the cutting depth of the second stage and repeat the milling procedure into the opposite direction. Several stages might be required to reach the final camphor bite. In the following section you will see how to change the tool. First disconnect the machine from main supply and pull the connection plug between the milling motor and the basic unit. Loosen the four connection balls and place the milling motor upright onto the protective ring. Each reversible disc can be repositioned up to eight times before it must be replaced. The right position in the milling cutter is secured by means of the lateral flat side. Individually, loosen the clamping screws, rotate the reversible disc up to the next flat side and tighten the clamping screw again. When the reversible discs have to be replaced completely, first remove all screws with the worn reversible discs. Carefully clean the tool and then insert the new reversible discs as described. Insert the clamping screws with anti-size paste as it was done in the factory during the initial assembly. In the last chapter we will show how to dismantle the milling cutter. The feed ring is turned back completely. Use a mandrel to fix the milling spindle and loosen the clamping screw on the face of the milling cutter. The milling tool can now be removed from the spindle. We thank you for your attention and wish you a successful work with the BDS AutoCAD 500.